What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Yes, yeah, guy. Something, something, something. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Germano NX by Waves. Germano NX is basically a studio mix room in any set of headphones that you have. It's supposed to emulate the world famous Germano Studios, which used to be the hit factory. A whole bunch of famous artists have produced tracks at that studio from Kanye West to Kendrick Lamar to David Bowie to the Rolling Stones. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, this version of NX actually has two separate plugins. So you have one that focuses solely on the monitors, and then you have another one that focuses on the surround sound. Uh, the monitors in this version of NX are custom XG S412G, a four-way system with dual 18-inch subwoofers. Um, and down here, you have the Nearfield Yamaha NS10s. Over here, you have the Germano Acoustic APS Aeons, and then the surround sound are five Germano APS Aeon two speakers, and then there's a subwoofer with that one as well. Um, so if you've never used this plugin before or any kind of NX plugin before, um, want to make sure that you put your headphones on for this demonstration because even though you're not here, this will work on your headphones at home. Um, so they switch through each one of the different monitors. All you have to do is basically click this and it'll take you to the different monitors. So as you see here, these are the GAs, these are the NS10s, and these are the Exegies. Um, right here, you can rotate around the room. So what rotating around the room will actually do is, let's say I'm listening to my music through my monitors and my monitors are coming at me like this right here, right? Um, if I turn around, it's not gonna sound the same as if I sit here, right? Because that's why we say monitors to sit at as an angle. So it's gonna basically emulate you turning around in your chair or stuff like that and you're hearing music from different angles, which is pretty cool. You hit this zero degree button right here, bam, it'll take you back to the forward view. You have an ambience button right here. Um, so that knob will basically add a little bit of ambience to make it feel like you're more in a room, in a mixed room versus listening to music through your headphones. Um, right here, you have a level. So I would recommend pulling this level back a little bit from zero uh, to start, because if you have it right at zero, um, it is going to clip like if you have your mix at like zero or negative 0.3 or something like that. Um, and you come over to these exegies, it's definitely going to clip. So you want to make sure you pull it back, dial back a little bit, and then just go ahead and dial back in until you get to the level that you want it to be at. Uh, when you look down here, it's got headphone EQ. So there's different um, headphones that they have that it has custom EQ curves for. If you don't have any of those headphones, don't worry. I'm using a pair of Bear Dynamic DT900 Pros, uh, Pro Xs, and they don't have these headphones, but it worked perfectly fine with these headphones. So don't worry about that. Uh, when you look down here at the bottom, um, they have a circumference. Um, so you can measure your head um, and your ear to ear, and it actually does change the sound and how you hear the mix in your headphones. So then over here, you have the head tracking settings. Um, so with this, you can track your head two different ways. You can track it with the NX clip, which clips onto any pair of headphones, or you can use a webcam, or if you're using a laptop, you can use the webcam in your laptop. And all you have to do is push this settings button, and then boom, as you can see, this little green box will track your head. Um, and so if you look at the green box and you look at the head right here, um, you know, they're moving. Um, moving the same. So that's pretty cool as well. So I got a sample beat here for you guys for the demonstration that I actually made on a live stream. I collab with some of my subscribers. Uh, so I want to send a shout out to my guy, friends, Liam D. Turner and Chris for sending me some loops so that we can get this thing done. Um, so let me go ahead and mute this Germano. Um, and this is basically what this beat sounds like we're going to work with today.
All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I got for you guys today. So let's go ahead and open a Germano NX up. Um, so boom, bam, let's open it up and we're going to go ahead and we're going to start right over here uh, with the GA2. Um, so this is what it's going to sound like uh, with that on. So as you can see, it sounds like you are basically listening to music through monitors, which is a very dope feature. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my head around and I'm going to mess with this right here and roll this around too as well. So you can hear what it sounds like if I was to move and look in different spots in the studio and so on and so forth. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go right on over to the NS10s. So let's go ahead and check those out real quick. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the exegies. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this level back. Remember what I said, when you go to these ones, you wanna make sure you dial back the, the volume a little bit. Um, and I might have to push it forward a little bit, but I'm not sure yet. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and forth through each one of the monitors so that you can hear what they sound like. So one more thing that I wanna show you guys before we go ahead and switch on over to the surround sound version um, is this head modeling. So with the head modeling, you might wanna measure your head because it does change the sound. And I'll let you guys hear that real quick. So it's supposed to help. The modeling is supposed to help make it sound better. Uh, for me, what I think is funny is the difference in sound when you're messing with the modeling is like the difference between listening to like Audio Technica's and Bayer Dynamics. It's like, depending on the modeling, it sounds very wide and spacious, but then some of it sounds super dense, you know? So 
Um, but let's go ahead and check out the surround sound or the 5.1. Uh, so boom, bam, when you open it up, what's really nice about this one is that you can control different spots of the surround sound. So the speakers in the left, in the rear, the speakers, the left in the front, the speakers, the right in the front speakers, you know, right in the back. Um, you can control the subwoofer and you can control the center um, as well. So that's pretty nice. Um, so this is what this actually sounds like. All right, so when you look over here, you'll see you have your different um, speakers for your surround sound. So you have a left, you have a center, you have a right, and then you have another left, and then you have another right, and then you have um, your sub down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play. What you can do is you can check your mix through different speakers. So you can solo the speaker like this, or you can just mute certain speakers to see what it would sound like just in certain speakers. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and push play and I'm just going to go ahead and go through all these speakers. I'm going to move around and all that stuff as well. So as you guys can see there, you can use this plugin to reference different surround sound speakers as well, which is pretty nice. Um, that's basically the plugin for you. Who is this plugin for? It's for anyone like me who makes music at night and people are sleeping and you can't mix through monitors because you don't want to be a jerk and wake them up. Or if you have neighbors and you can't blast your music through your monitors because you live in an apartment or you may not have monitors. So you want to see what it sounds like to mix through monitors or get better mixes, or you may even have monitors, but you just want some different monitors to reference. This plugin is definitely solid. Um, I've already been using CLA, um, NX, and I've also been using Oceanway. Um, I use those often and get very good mixes out of them. Um, keep in mind that there is a seven day free trial on this plugin, just like any plugin through Waves. So you can always test it out if you would like before you grab it um, and you can decide if it's something that you can use. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.